Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Sandy. And on this episode, I am going to share with you a very, very easy um, idea for pork chops for your dinner or snack or lunch, whatever you want to eat them for. But this is so simple and they are so delicious. Um, they just require just a few ingredients that I know that you already have in your cabinets. So let's get started. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven to 450 degrees. And um, here's what we'll, we will be using. I have got three nice um, boneless pork pork chops. Um, now if you want to use the bone in, that's perfectly fine. Uh, you just might have to increase your cooking time maybe a couple minutes. Um, and then you'll need a half a cup of brown sugar. And, um, and here we have a half a teaspoon of paprika, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, um, about a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a, a fourth of a teaspoon, slightly less, of cayenne pepper. Um, that's just the way I like it. I like it spicy, but I just don't want to make it too, too spicy. But if you want to use more, go right ahead. And um, olive oil, we're going to be using two teaspoons of olive oil, olive oil and some fresh ground pepper. Um, and I guess I'll tell you what these are called. I didn't tell you what they're called. These are glazed pork chops, and they're they're so amazing. I you're just gonna have to see, and it's so easy to make. So, to our pan, about two tablespoons of olive oil, and I've got this on about just slightly over medium, medium high, because you're going one, two, slow motion there. <laughs> you're going to want to get a, a nice sear on them. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add our, just into, this is, I'm using a baking dish. Now if you want to go ahead and trans, keep everything in one pan and then just slide it in the oven, that's perfectly fine too. But you are going to add that, the brown sugar in there, and then you're going to add all of your other goodies right in there. And you're going to give that a mix around. Up real good. Some of my brown sugar's got some lumps. I don't like my brown sugar to have lumps. Mix it around. And that's basically it. And then you're going to coat these. You're going to take your pork chops and you're going to coat them real good on both sides. This is so easy. Push that right down in there. Get that goodness down in there. And you're going to do both sides, as I mentioned. And then you're just going to throw them right in your pan. So what you're going to do now, again, you've got all the seasonings that you put together and you've pressed it in real good on each side. So what you're going to do is you're just going to add this to your pan and you are going to um, saute these on both sides for about, um, I don't know, about four minutes on each side until they develop a nice rusty um, coating. And I'm going to keep an eye on these and then I'll show them with one of them turned over. That. Take a look at that. That is gorgeous. And if you'll notice, the brown sugar, oh my goodness. Oh, I can't take this. This is just too beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. The brown sugar is kind of caramelizing on the pork chops. Look at that. Gorgeous. These are delicious. Four more minutes on this side, and then we're going to pop them in the oven for about another four minutes, and they're going to be done. All right. I cook these on both sides about four minutes, and what I'm going to do is transfer them into this baking dish strategically. I want you to look at the glaze that's come up on them, or that um, the sauces that the combination of the ingredients is made. So I'm going to place these in here. And come on, get down there, get down there, you little booger. And then what you're going to do is make sure that you put. All of that goodness right on top of it. And then we're going to put this in the oven for about 
uh, another five minutes at 450 and then it's completely done. Look at this. Look at those. How gorgeous is that? And look at that, um, the combination of the ingredients, the brown sugar um, and the paprika and the salt and pepper made a beautiful taste of sauce for these pork chops. So I'm going to just plate these up here. Look how gorgeous those are. Beautiful. And these are very company friendly serving. I mean, you can definitely serve these to your, any company that comes over. These are worthy of that. Now, what you do is um, you go ahead and pour your sauce right over top of it. You don't want to waste any of that. Look how beautiful those are. Gorgeous. And of course, wouldn't be in the kitchen with Sandy if I didn't try a bite. So let's try a bite. Oh, these are so tender. Look at that. Look at that, how tender that is. Cooked to perfection. Gorgeous. And we'll dip it in the sauce there. Hot. Those are definitely on the money.